If you're like me, getting links to your viewers, both live and replay, is a top priority. I have chat moderators. I pin comments in the live chat. I share links in the description. I even go through the comments long after the show is done to respond to questions. And most of the time, I also share links as well. Fam, <laughs> Restream, y'all. Restream has included a feature in their live studio that allows us to create QR codes on the spot for whatever links we can dream of. <laughs> Link to buy me a coffee? Scan this. Link to purchase your course? Scan this. Affiliate link to purchase the mic I'm using right now on Amazon? Scan right here. What's mind boggling really is, is that this is an expansion of their live shopping feature we covered in a previous video. Yeah, you did tell me. An expansion that makes perfect sense and ensures streamers can capitalize on their audience's interest in real time. Because guess what? QR stands for quick response. That's very clever. That's very clever. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today, we're looking at QR codes for live streaming from Restream Studio. So here we are in Restream Studio, and I just wanna pause here and say, for many of us that may use other platforms like Ecamm or OBS, and you use Restream to restream your live show to the destinations, this is not that. This is the actual web-based streaming platform that Restream has uh, that rivals web-based streaming platforms like StreamYard and EVMUX, MelonApp, and others. And so that's where I'm at right now. I'm in the Restream studio. And what you see is my, my camera on the, on, the, on the left here. I can turn that off. I can turn that on. That brings it on and off screen. Um, and I can invite guests on this side as well. Just kind of familiarizing you, you with the Restream Studio. Another feature that I absolutely love is portrait orientation. So I can actually change that to portrait orientation. And it not only uh, crops in, but it gives you the full vertical. I want you to understand this. Um, some of the other ones, they crop in in this way. But where you have the option to actually crop in and stream like this directly from Restream Studio. And quick tip, if you wanna use this to record your shorts, you could just go into the studio, record your shorts and be done with it. More on that later. Uh, but then you can also, of course, keep it, keep it to your normal landscape orientation. And then lastly, our feature that we wanna really highlight today is across the top here on the right, you have chat, uh, which you can put comments on screen and you've seen those before. Nothing too, too special there. You've got captions, double layer captions, <clears throat> StreamYard, <laughs> double layer captions here. Uh, it's the standard from everybody. We just know that this works. Uh, then you've got graphics, right? Graphics, graphics are, are also here. It's overlays, uh, logos, lower thirds, anything that you wanna show on screen, even video clips, all graphics. But this one in the corner, I'm highlighting it now, I'm trying to zoom in on it. I want you to see that it says new right there. That is QR codes. I'm gonna click on that. And this section is, this is where the my mind is blown in terms of what Restream has done. So you have QR codes that just stay on screen like this one. And I just added that to the screen and you can see it says support the stream and it has a QR code there. Now, if I hide that, I'm gonna hit the three dots on this and hit edit, and you can see what that QR code is made up of. Support the stream is, is the title, and then you have my link, kirkarndusion.com slash support. So if you scan that QR code, it takes you to my support page, and you're able to support the stream in whatever way you see fit. And again, you could use that in so many different ways. So that's one, I'm gonna cancel there. Let's, let's see if I, about adding one to this section. So I'm just gonna click the add button here, and I'm going to make this title book a session, all right? We're just going to have this be book a session with me. All right, put that in there. And then our link for that is kirkrnugent.live slash book me. So we'll put that in there and that's it. So we click add and now we have a second QR code here and I'm going to put that up instead. So that one says support the stream. Um, but I can also have this say book a session. Now I've got my book a session right here in the top left corner inside the, the studio. And again, I want you to see what that looks like even when I'm vertical. 
kind of dope. So that's 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 still there even when you're vertical. Um, next, you may want to support the stream, right? This is so I have book a session up in the top. I have another QR code on the bottom that says buy me a coffee. Now this actually is a built-in one that comes with Restream Studio. I'm gonna edit that thing <laughs> because you know if somebody's gonna buy me a coffee, I want them to want that coffee to be for me. So I'm gonna put this link in here, perkarnugent.live slash coffee, click save and voila, there we go. So now I can put this back on screen and you can see that that says support the stream. And if you scan that QR code, you're supporting me. And again, I'm just, I just keep on going back to it. I want you to see that this works in both landscape and horizontal. So if you are a vertical streamer, and many of you are, you need to be thinking about this. So I'm gonna take that off screen. I'm gonna add a course. Let's add a course real quick, right? So here it says, give me the link. All right, I'm gonna put that link in there. Um, I've got a link to the checkout page for my course. Let me put that in. All right, so that's the course. Uh, we're gonna call this course creation online and secondary text will say, I think it's eight modules and I'm going to upload an image. Um, I've got that screenshot already taken and you can see that right there. Course creation in Kajabi. Boom. So I've got my image. I've got my, my secondary text. I've got my primary text and my link. And I say create, it's going to take a second or two. It will create the QR code. And then I'm able to put that course on screen in the middle of my live show. And I don't need to be worrying about whether or not people get the link because they've got the QR code. In fact, not only do they have the QR code, it actually has this little, you know, animation that goes around it really calls people's attention. This is a game changer. And of course, I'm going to keep on showing this. You can put it in vertical mode as well, right? You can put it in vertical mode as well. And maybe maybe you say, oh, that's a little bit too much on the screen. Okay, you can take off one. It's not a big deal. And if you have comments or anything like that, you can put a comment up. It's going to take the place of the comment. But when you take the comment down, you can go back to your QR codes and put up put your, your QR code back up again totally up to you. So many different functionalities, so much features. It's one of those things that they've given it to us and we can make of it what we will. Creating QR codes on the fly for your unique links. Absolutely amazing. And then you can save these links in here. I'm going to show one last thing and then we're going to be done. And that's right at the bottom. You can see where it says live sales. Now I covered this entire thing in an entirely new uh, other video. And I'm going to put a, a card to that video here at the top of the screen. Uh, but you can actually pull items. Let's go here to add. We can pull items from my Amazon live store. Now, if you want to know how to connect to your store, check out that other video, but I'm going to select the, my, my Amazon live shop, which is already connected to restream live shopping. And I can just scroll through, find the microphone that I'm currently using and put that microphone in a QR code. There it is. I put that hit add to list it next. Your products have been updated. Boom. So now in this live sale, list, I now can add the Shure MV7X, this microphone to the screen and it's there. I can, I can, uh, again, leave my book a session link at the top and you do have the ability down here at the very bottom to change the orientation of the QR codes. So right now it comes in as an overlay at the very bottom, but if I want to change it to classic, then the QR codes comes into the side. I like this. I, I really I have to tell you guys, I just I really like this. Me too. And I can change it to the Rode Wireless Go To system. Maybe I can change it to the Buy Me A Coffee. Here's my course. Here is yet my other course. I really like this. I like it too. And again, I, I have to keep on coming back to the fact that you can set this up for your vertical. Now, for vertical, you definitely want to make sure you keep it in the compact view because it will cover your, your entire screen. Uh, but when you move that back to your regular landscape orientation, you can change that to classic and you have this, you know, kind of broken down uh, setup. And I think it's really a good look. Any link that you can think of, you can get it out there with this new feature from Restream. One can only hope Restream competitors will follow suit quickly. Uh, big, uh, chase, 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 chase. <laughs> Full disclosure, fam. I've been using other streaming platforms. You what? Uh, but with these latest updates for platform agnostic live streaming, for QR codes on the fly, for the ability to live shopping and live sell to my audience, coupled with the rash of issues some are having with Amazon Live, I find myself strongly reconsidering. Let me know in the comments what you think. Learn more live stream platform functions, features, and options 
from these videos. Mm -hmm.